At this point, you've probably picked up a set of Eclipse glasses, but how can you tell if they're safe and authentic? Tonight, 7 News reporter Chad Charette listens for what to look for. With days to go before the eclipse, these glasses are everywhere. Now, Watertown-based ophthalmologist Deborah Colums is warning folks to watch out for knockoffs. I've known of some places, I've heard um, a couple places selling 3D glasses, and the red blue lens ones as, as eclipse glasses, not going to work. It's a warning that has also been issued by New York's Attorney General, since inadequate eyewear can spell disaster. The problem with this is once the damage is done, it's not fixable, so the treatment for this is prevention and education. They're there are simple. ways to make sure your glasses are safe, though. For starters, check for proper ISO certification on the glasses arm. Another test, trying to shine light through them like this. Just hold them up to the light. Make sure you don't see any light streaming through it. There's holes or anything in into it. And, um, you know, also it helps if you know if you got them from a reputable place. A common question we've seen asked is if it's safe to wear welding masks during the eclipse. Dr. Colum says you'll be safe as long as the glass is shade 14 or greater. Anything less dense than that, that's a fairly dense welding glass. Anything less dense than that is, is, is not okay. Colum says a common misconception she's seen is when exactly these glasses are necessary to wear, since when the eclipses reach totality, it's perfectly safe to take them off. Well, first of all, if you keep your glasses on during totality, you'll miss totality. You won't see a thing. The totality is no brighter than the full moon. Totality is expected to last for around three minutes. After that, the glasses go back on. Chad Charette, 7 News.